Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Mats channel and welcome back to this new series I am going to be doing all on compound measure and we've got a lot to sink our teeth into in this particular um, series. So today we're going to be looking at speed, distance and time. And there are some things I need to tell you about it before we jump into. We've got lots of prerequisites that you need to know before we jump into this one. Okay, to begin this lesson, the first thing I need to talk to you about is speed, distance and time, funny enough. So um, when you're doing this particular topic, speed, especially for um, those of us here in the UK who tend to use more metric rather than imperial measurement. We do use some imperial measurement, but more often than not, we tend to use metric. But I'm gonna show you both the imperial and metric that we use. So for speed, um, it's gonna either be in miles per hour, or it's gonna be in kilometers per hour, or it's going to be in meters per second. So these are the three different ways we tend to um, calculate speed here, especially when we are doing mathematical calculations. Okay, the next thing I need to tell you about would be the time. So time would either be in hours, or it will be in minutes, or it will be in seconds. Now, while I'm telling you all that, one thing I want you to notice is this. Notice that miles go with hours because it's miles per hour here for the speed. Kilometers go with hours because that's kilometers per hour there, but meters go with seconds. At no point in time does anything go with minutes. So if you get a calculation that requires you to work, that gives you minutes, you will most definitely need to convert your minutes to hours if you're dealing with miles or kilometers, or you need to convert it to seconds if you're dealing with meters. So if you want to convert it to seconds, you multiply by 60. And if you want to convert it to hours, you divide by 60. We have a question like that, that you can see on the screen right now that we will need to do um, some, some conversion. Anyway, let me finish off then. So distance. So obviously, judging from the speed up here, you would, you'll already see that distance will either be in miles or it will be in kilometers or it will be in meters, okay? And that's what, that's what it's gonna be. So before you solve a question, always check the units. Very, very important. Average speed is distance divided by time. So this is a formula you need to know, you need to learn it, because when you're doing it in an exam, it will not be given to you. Now, lots of teachers teach this triangle method um, for which you can see up there, the teacher's triangle method um, for remembering how to rearrange these formulas. I don't teach it because I don't like it. I think it's a cheater's way of doing maths. This is a maths channel, we're sticking to the maths. So here we go. So speed is distance over time. We can rearrange that and we can say that time is equal to distance over speed. So we can just cross multiply here. So time is distance over speed. I will leave this at the top of the screen because we're going to need it. And finally, distance is equal to speed times time. So really important that we remember all of these. Now let's jump into the question. It takes a train 25 minutes to travel 240 kilometers. What is the average speed of the train? So yes, that makes sense because they've given us the time and they've given us the, um, the distance and we need to find the speed. So speed is distance divided by time. So that means that the speed will equal to a distance of 240 divided by a time of, uh-oh, it's 25 minutes. I can't put 25 minutes in here because as we said at the beginning, if it's in minutes, I need to either change it to seconds or hours. But because this is in kilometers, I will need to change it to hours. And how do I change it to hours? I divide by 60. So let's do some work on the side. So that's going to be 25 divided by 60 
If I divide that by 5, I'm going to get 5 twelfths for now. And so that's what I'm going to use in my calculation. So I'm going to be 240 divided by 5 twelfths. Now, there are many ways you can work this out. You can change it to a decimal if you like. For me, I'm just going to multiply by 12 and then divide by 5 when I'm done. But it's going to work out to 576 kilometers per hour. And that is done. Okay. And that's expected to be pretty fast because 240 kilometers is quite a distance. But to be doing it in 25 minutes, you have to be going really fast. 576 kilometers per hour fast, to be fair. Okay, let's go into question two now. What do they want in question two? So in question two, we have got a car travel at a speed of 98 miles per hour, and it took three and a half hours. So they've given me the speed and they've given me the time. So it makes sense that they're asking me for the distance. How far it's gone is distance. How do I find distance? Distance is speed times time. So, I'm just going to say that the distance is the speed of 98 multiplied by three and a half hours. How far has it gone? 343 miles. Okay, don't forget to get rid of the hours because distance will just be in miles. And finally, to finish this one off, a train travels at an average speed of 120 miles an hour. So they have given me the speed of the train and it travels for a distance of 200 miles. How long is the journey? How long is time? So we need to calculate the time it took. And from our formulas up here, time is distance over speed. So to work out my time, I'm going to say the distance that it travels is 200 miles. The speed is, is 120 miles, so it took one and two thirds of an hour. Do you want that looking a bit simple? Of course you do. Two thirds of an hour is 40 minutes, because if you split an hour into three parts, it's going to be blocks of 20 minutes. Two blocks of that is going to be 40 minutes. So this is actually one hour and 40 minutes. And that's a quick brief introduction into this whole topic of speed, distance and time. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't subscribed before and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. But for now though, until I see you on the next one where some more juicy stuff are coming, peace.